morning to you, large. I'm sorry, yeah. So, <clears throat> this morning I woke up, and it, it's starting to be fall, right? And, yeah, uh, you can you can start feeling that, right? Right up here, right up here, you're like, oh no, yeah, it's going to be fall again. So it's been annoying. So I took um, some of these, um, th th this mint, mint candy. Usually that does work well. Otherwise, I'll just have to sometimes mute my mic or something like that. <laughs> so also, let's uh, let's go on the record here um, because this is going to be different, and I want to explain what I'm going to be doing a tiny bit. So first of all, welcome to X4 Foundations. We got uh, all the two DLCs that are available. Of course, we have them. And we also have the rumors of a third, maybe upcoming DLC. My two dogs are out of their uh, benches. And you will hear them walking. There is little I can do about that. I cannot keep them confined at all times. So bear with me. They will find a place for them that they can just lie down. Stop moving. <laughs> but... You know, it's life. It is It is life. Life with these two amazing dogs of mine, which I really, really, utterly, utterly love. For this series, we're going to be playing as the Terrans again. I really enjoy the Terran Protectorate, so we'll get started on that right away. Um, as for those of you who are interested in my settings, these are it. Uh, game sounds are high but I can actually adjust them here with my slider just say this is at 50% we have the game uh, all the save is on because I'm an idiot and I get my ass blown up sometimes and sometimes that is really annoying maintain speed in menus that if you get the game is off turn it on because if you're traveling and you're looking at your map you do not want to just go out of travel mode that is so annoying aim assist is the best the best feature in the game yeah it is subtitles on spoken targets names i don't yeah, we could do that but it will always go like um p a destroyer or something like that and, and sometimes it could be very annoying uh tool tips are off and the control methods. We know if we're going into travel mode, scanning mode, uh, and, and long range mode, and, and we can even go disco. So we don't need those messages. We don't need them. Let's go back. We'll uh, get started on the game, which is going to be the Terran Cadet, because I love that. In the aftermath of the escalating tensions between the United Space Command and the Commonwealth, culminating in the destruction Taurus Eternal. The people of the solar system welcomed the seclusion the Jumpgate shutdown brought with it. In isolation, they prospered and soon began to heal, putting the traumatic events of the past behind themselves. After an initial period of instability, the USC government was restructured, and out of the wreckage of the old, the Terran Protectorate was born. Now, having re-established contact with the Gate Network, we the Protectorate are the shield valiantly standing between its inhabitants and the Xenon menace. The other factions may not recognize us as Supreme Protectors just yet, but they will. Okay, so I, I hope you could actually hear that. I know that we're in a an intermission screen right now, but we're just going to get started and I will just go and jump into my X4 window. Here you go, and let's get started on this. After the uh, Ever since intro uh, introduction, I have dreamt of seeing Earth, humble origin of our species, up close. Since I was born on a trading vessel in the far orbits around Titan, the core of the solar system remains, according to Protectorate policy, beyond my reach. That is, until I have made a name for myself. Having recently graduated from cadet school, I aim to do just that. 
Amazing. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, of stories going on. A, a lot of characters talking. And I love that. I really love that about this DLC. And I'm kind of hoping that the next DLC will have something similar to that. Where you have this very rich, very heavy storyline that just... It, it, it feels so damn good, this DLC. Absolutely. With, with, and when you start like the Young Gun, which is one of the standard starts, it, it feels like a gap. You will always do the same thing. You're either going to be doing missions, you're either going to be doing crystals, and you're going to be scanning for the research station. It's always the same start. And with this, you will not have to do that very annoying interaction with uh, Bozo Ta, which is the researcher. But you will get into this story about a war with the Xenon and uh, with also the... Um, uh, how do how these guys call again? Uh, I have to get their names anyways. Uh, but we'll get to that. Now, for those of you who will be watching this later, this, this is going to be one of those playthroughs that I will do. I will show you pretty much everything. There is not going to be small videos about me explaining you why I do certain things. So this is the entire story. Maybe with an exception. If we, Once we get a Seda, there will be some exceptions. Where I'm just, you know, when I'm doing stuff other than, you know, streaming this. It's going to be... Ooh, wow, my internet spiked up like crazy. Um, I will cut out some portions but for you guys watching this twitch and youtube later that's not going to happen so everything that is streamed will reach it to youtube i'm sorry <laughs> uh, tell me again why we're stuck with maintenance duty in mars of all places he will talk again so I'm waiting. If anyone's gonna attack our backyard. Okay, shift space bar will enable you to control it by mouse movement or joystick. Uh, well, if you have a joystick, you probably won't have to. Let's go meet up with this fella. Space bar, start shooting. And we can also do that with middle mouse button. Let's go over there. Oh, love, I really love this game. I really, I play this game way more than I should be, especially for my channel. <laughs> There's not many people actually um, watching this sort of game, which is a shame because this game is absolutely fantastic. You can do whatever you want, piracy if you need to or want to. Uh, I can't wait until we get a ship like his. I really love those ships. Uh, we'll go over that. But before we do, let's go escape personal. We're going to be changing the logo to my own. Let's get over there. I'm, I'm not changing the name of the character. I don't think that is too interesting. And what we will eventually do is... When we start getting like our wolves, we can start naming our XL battleships. Perhaps in names of people that I... We'll see a lot of in the comment section or whatever. Let me know what it is about X4 that tickles your interest. Because this game is very huge, and I would like to somewhat steer it into a direction you find comfortable. Oh, that's the wrong key. Sorry for that. Let's go over there. That won't miss it. Why is it? Mission command says to just deploy a new one. <laughs> See, they don't even care. He's such a whiner. Okay, let's go to travel mode. Of the Terran Protectorate. 
Terran agents are known to decimate entire squadrons of adversaries through superior maneuvers. You, by contrast, have none of these qualities. Gee, thanks, Nelly. <clears throat> uh, diagnostics are taking a tad long on this one. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic ship. Don't know why we would need wings, but... Okay, so we need to repair this one. You can see that by this little bar, this white bar. Uh, shift D will get you off your seat. So one of the things that I don't want to do is get myself um, a pilot for my own ship. Uh, unfortunately, especially early on when you start getting into the mission to get the researcher, you uh, it would be wise if you get yourself a pilot for your ship. Other than that, it's not yeah. really necessary. Okay, let's repair the station completely. Because uh, one of those things that I just don't like about the game is space suit travel. And Shift D will get you docking permission. Okay, so he's over here. Okay, we need to go over there. Maintenance skills, love it. So they're just waiting here because usually you will need to do your long range scanner, but I, I think they um do the combat. That's one. And the other one's here to the right. Pretty easy fight. Now if there is debris, hold O. For your tractor beam. Nelly, analysis. Classification: High tech trader. Crew: Deceased. Cargo: Classified. Reconstructing event. Processing. 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 Permission has been denied. Investigation terminated. <laughs> Our specialists will take over from here, and you, cadets, will hear from me shortly. Dismissed. Found nothing. You can go. Okay. Well, pretty much this. Uh, uh, did we break some sort of protocol? Uh, I'm not seeing any reprimands in my profile. Well, at least that maintenance task is being repaired. Eh? So I guess we're. I agree. So there is uh, missions everywhere, and, and this is one of the destroyed gateways. I believe it's from X3 then. Not particularly sure. So if you if you have knowledge, if you have knowledge about the, like say the law, I would really be interested if you tell me. This is a former jump gate. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely destroyed. So let's summarize. Someone or something raided that trading vessel for highly classified high tech goods. They knew the trade route in the outer reaches of our stronghold sector and took out nearby satellites to let the distress signal run aground. And on top of that, Xenon scouts are still drawn to the wreckage days after the incident. Something's brewing. Sure. Okay, when you go to map, there are several things you can do here. 
Uh, one of the things I suggest if you press this icon, you go here. You can turn all the filters off. And you can see now it will get the color that the faction has for itself. You can show mission offers on the map. And that's why I'm having the medical aid over here. And I'm having the fast flight in this direction. We're actually going to be doing some missions. Because I don't want to progress too fast into the um, into the storyline. Because I, I kind of want to slowly get into that. And maybe get ourselves a bit of a ship. And I'm not saying a miner. Maybe we'll get a ship that will transport food to stations. Because you can actually make a lot of that. Or actually go with protein paste. To a food factory um, and there are quite a few of them so it would be um, an interesting thing to do let's take a look at these missions fast flying we'll have to go and pick someone up at the Terran solar power plant which is extremely easy and this one will have to collect a logbox both of them are quite good let's accept you and accept the other one and let's go dock. This way we'll find ourselves some bases uh, here in the Terran space. And we'll have more opportunities to get missions done. So with Shifty again we'll get the docking granting. If you um, are flying on a... Ooh, wait a minute, there's someone. It's a criminal vessel. We'll get a free reputation. I'll um, I'll see if there are ads on this station. There is an achievement you can get for destroying advertisement. And the advertisement are something like these. But they're red. And they will have a ring. And you will have to shoot the ring. And in the past you wouldn't get a negative relationship but I'm not too sure about that right now that is just an entrance for drones yeah I don't see any on this station which is uh, fine we'll just go and pick up our Thanks for your help. character there we go we get a uh, reputation and a tiny bit of money if you um, have the policing license you will get a bit more Oh, I'm sorry. I, I felt I taught. Hmm. I hoped we had a docking computer Mark II. But we don't. So let's line this up. Start. Oh, we can't even go in reverse. Oh, I was. Trying to back park in this. Come on. Oh, go back. Look up. Look down. Oh, this is. I'm messing this up. Look at that. You can see that. It is just completely out of control right now. Okay, let's do this again. We enter through here. Just line up. Go forward until you can actually... Oh, I can't even... Oh, my engines don't work. My mouse scroll button apparently... Doesn't want to work right now. That's awkward. And look down here. The first thing I will get is a docking computer. Honestly. Let's go down. We need to get a docking computer because we don't want that stuff. I don't know why my mouse button wasn't working anymore to increase speed. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Okay, so let's take a look at mission offer. Let's go get up 
But you need actually need to talk to the person. And some of these missions can be very lucrative. Into the manager's office, oh my. There you go. Hey, sir. Hello. Welcome aboard. Yeah, the one ship I actually have. And we need to wait until he actually gets there. With Shifty, you are back at your own ship. And it will tell you to wait. And you will actually see him come up here. So, I usually just wait so I can actually see that he is in the ship. There you go. Take a bit of a sip of my coffee here. It's morning. It's uh, it's getting close to 8 a.m. Climb that ladder. Um, that was a pretty long ladder, mate. Don't know what's up with that. Let's undock. And now my mouse button is thankfully working again. Now we cannot upgrade our ship here, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see, where do we want to go? Where do we need to go? Oh, close to the jumping gate. That's not a bad thing. The Terran Wolf, we can do that over there. I don't think we have enough money. Bit of a shame. And we... See medical supplies. I kind of want to know what sort of station there is a huge amount of. And what do they require? And then we'll look into what it is we can do for the Terrans. And of course, I believe we already... Did we get the other mission? Defenders of Soul? Yes, we do. Uh, we'll do these two missions first and get a bit of money. Go back to the Terran Wolf. Uh, we don't need to upgrade just yet. You will get a mission to upgrade your ship. And usually it does give you a good indication like, okay, dude, you are going to be entering into <laughs> a bit of a combat situation. And it's, um, it's, it's quite a bit of a combat situation. I really suggest you save your game. Because having to do everything all over again, eh, it's not something I would like. And I don't think you would like either. Now, we didn't have an auto save yet. We will get it. It's a matter of time. I love these docking ports here. These, uh, these docking modules, they have so many entry points. You can play around with your bases so much. Absolutely lovely. Now, okay, we'll land the ship. Docking. Request docking permission. Let's head on over. I don't think we'll have enough money to get a new ship, but we'll um, we'll have an opportunity to get another one shortly. Well, shortly in a matter of a few hours. There you go. And he should be leaving by himself. There we go. We got money. 71,000. Going into mission, you can see it's only the medical aid. So let's undock. And there is actually a mission in here, which is a difficult one. These missions, if you find them, the hard missions, the missions where you need to build a factory, take them. Whatever you do, take them. Um, destroying mines, not a difficult mission either, so we'll take that as well. Hopefully we'll get a bit of a, a better understanding of the Terran space. And like I said, we need money. We, need, we don't need to rush this main mesh, uh, mission just yet. Also, autopilot is sometimes a bit wonky. And we're actually being brought to the mining mission, but I kind of want to go over there first. Yeah, sure. You, you, you do you, police officer. You do you. And here's our ship. Scan results show that you're all clear. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Scan results are all clear. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a criminal. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I missed that. Early on, you can just get 
all the reputation you would like or everything you would need. And there's the jump gate into the next sector with a defensive station. Quite like that. And I believe this is um, this is the red planet. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can actually terraform some planets right now, which is always good. Always so nice. I can't wait until we can actually do this one. What kind of a factory should we build? Um, metallic micro letters. That's not bad. I don't believe it's that expensive. We already have a docking area. And some other modules. So we would need solid storage, container storage, and the micro. So we would probably need somewhere in the region of a million, maybe, maybe two, two million. Let's turn this off. We already have this on. Yeah, mining filter is always nice. And you have your trade filter, which we won't be using anytime soon. Power plant over here in Mars. If you go into information and you are clicking a station, you can see there is actually sunlight. And this one has 44%. And Venus has 190. The asteroid belt has 13. And I know there is a system over here with about 600%. That is so much. Absolutely a disgusting amount. Oh man, look at this ship. It looks really nice. I really like that. Let's go turn off my hut here for a while. Um, there you go. Bit of a screenshot going, maybe. I might need something for a thumbnail later. <laughs> That's my, um, my other guy. If you click him, you press F3, do that twice, you can actually look at his ship as well. You can do, do, do that pretty much with anything in the game. You can even see him sitting. We zoom in. There's our buddy, our wingmate. Very nice. Let's get our hut back. And the log box is over here. Uh, I suggest when you do these sort of missions, Turn off all of your weapons but one. Let's get close. And always shoot first and just use your mouse to do it. Oh, the spin thing is, this thing is spinning out of control, which is... That's bad. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of locks here we need to destroy. Uh... Okay, let's uh, take a bit of a different approach on this. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Oh man, this is uh, dodgy. This is really dodgy. You can be on your way. Go big backwards. Okay, the weapon we selected is probably on my left. Ooh. I think it's also... No, we are moving in space. Let's go start over here. Uh, watch that small dot. That should be the one that is actually doing the work. Ooh, be careful. You One miss... Misfire, and it will be destroying this uh, lockbox. So let's line up a bit. Where do we want to shoot this thing? It's like orbital a bit. That's so annoying. Let's see. It's my coffee machine. Okay, let's get into the position. Ooh. Maybe bumping it could help you. Let's 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think three more to go. I'm... I really hate screwing up these missions. Okay. One more to go. Two more to go, actually, but... Let's make sure that we are lined up. <gasps> Damn it! That is so... It was a mean mission, nevertheless. It was a mean mission. Well, that failed. Let's go... Just, just make sure that we are getting our frustration out of the way. And let's fly away over to Venus. So damn close. So damn close, yet so far away. That is very annoying. Also, we have our wingmate... It's not in the fleet, but... Wow, people are yelling outside, I don't know why. Uh, it's way too early for yelling. Just just relax, people. Relax. I'm kind of hoping that he would also fight with us. I'm bummed out by that one mission. It was a very difficult lockbox, though. And you will find a lot of them, especially once you get more ships going. And, and you will have your global orders on, which we... We'll get into later. Not right now. It's just too much going on. Let's just travel like this so we know what's going on. This ship actually is not that upgraded. This, these ships could go way faster. I'm, I'm thinking we have a Mark 1 engine. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go to our ship. Load out. Yeah, we have a, a Mark 1 engine. Eh, it's all round as well. I kind of like the combat computers. Uh, the combat engines. They're not as fast in the travel, but they do have a better speed overall. So we might need to upgrade the ship a bit more. I am one of those idiots who really enjoys upgrading all of the ships that he has. I really do that. I, I, I'm, because I, just, I can have this game run days, right? And it feels so wrong. Not to have all of your ships upgraded completely. So they can actually, you know, survive. Survive combat. They, there, will be, there will be pirates. Uh, luckily the AI has a decent policing thing going on. And every time you have your own system. The policing is just horrible. Just horrible. There's the other save. I was waiting for it. At least we'll have our very first save of this one. And usually it does come out of these situations where you just exit a jump gate or so. They were too... Um, they're actually not that long anymore. They used to be quite long. Okay, now be careful. We'll have to destroy these mines. Let's make sure that we have all of our weapons on. Also, if you are going to be flying a ship for yourself, like small or medium, get some missiles with that. Missiles are so damn powerful. I'm, I'm very cautious with this because this ship will go right on top of a mine. So don't autopilot to these sort of missions. Looks like, are they building this station? And there's actually the gate that will lead to Earth. So be careful with that. They, they won't appreciate you flying close to it. Yeah, this is a admin state. This is a defensive station. You can see a defensive ring over there. Some other stations here as well. We still have 200 kilometers to go. Don't see any other missions. This one has a... Question mark going on. Could be a lockbox in this direction. Could also be the gate. You will get a warning. 
And if you're getting too close, eventually they would start shooting. I'm wondering where they will lead us, but I believe the gate should be around this bit. Uh, we are actually able to get over here. Oh, yeah. With four, version 4.1, we'll actually have a good ring indicator. It is so damn good. We're a bit below on the uh, on the line here. There's also a processing center over there. Nice. Looks looks strange. Okay, so we're getting close now. 80 kilometers. And I think I want to drop out and slowly go in at 25. We could lose our wing buddy over here. Because he is... Um, Ahead of us. Oh, it's at a station as well. Maybe we'll get a new mission. That would be nice. We might want to save up. Until we... Can actually afford a new ship. Not for ourselves. Maybe a ship that will do some trading for us. Considering we are doing these small time missions. We... Um, well, there's not many others. The medical supplies, I believe you need protein paste. Which is actually not bad. To do 17, 18, 15. Yeah, okay, we're getting really close now. Uh, my weapons, I think they have a range of 4 kilometers. So we can boost a bit more in there. Don't boost too much. Because it will cost you your shields. And you will get a point. And it will t I will tell you when you can actually start shooting it. Because it, it's a good indicator. And that is the uh, aim assist. Which is damn good to have. Okay, let's recharge our shields. Slowly snaking away over there. And the shields is the blue line that will appear below the white, which is your hull. Okay, we can ready to stop moving. There you go, that's the point. Okay, that's too far away. And those are too far away, which is nearest? This one. Is that over there? I don't see any other missions just yet on my... On my map. I think we can already shoot him right now, but... There you go. Okay, there's the point. Next one. 3.5, 3.2. Yeah. And that criminal got shot by my wingmate. <laughs> I wonder if we will get a um, reputation from that. If we do, then your wingmate's going to be amazing. And there's also a... Um, there you go. We got the money. There's also a... Scannable thing on this station. Let's take a look where it is. We might even repair it for some additional. There you go. Okay, so there is the um, the data leak. Unfortunately, repairing requires you to get off your seat into space and repair it. And you might be able to get a reputation increase. Now, if you just want to scan it, there is nothing wrong with doing that, but you will most likely will get... It's either going to be trade deals or some less legal missions. And I usually just repair them at the start, so we'll get a bit of a reputation increase. We, we are currently at 10, so we are actually able to get a policing license if we want to. 
But... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we can actually repair this one. So, if we uh, are going to be picking it up, then it's also fine. I'm just keeping my repair button on. Uh, and we repaired it. There we go. Get back to our ship. Docking, uh, docking permission. I wonder if we'll, uh, we'll get some reputation for it. Yeah, let's get over here, a bit lower. If you just aim in the general direction, usually it's enough to get you docked. So for those of you who think we, uh, we're going to be finding Earth, I will highly, highly, highly say, don't. <laughs> you will be blown up. You, there will be parts of your body flying everywhere. Let us get the aiming of the, actually the guidance over there. We'll go autopilot. I'm going to be grabbing myself some of my, uh, my coffee because the machine stopped. Oh, well, give me a second while we fly back. While we fly back, thank you very much. Autopilot. autopilot. And maybe we'll get some more missions, but we got a good amount to actually at least do our docking computer, docking which is very nice to have. Oh, yeah. Okay, any missions that I've missed while getting my coffee? Yes, there are. Disengage. Stop. My ship left me behind. Don't do that, don't do... This is the gate. Get, don't go near that. They will, they will. Get pissed. If this mission wants anyone to bring to be brought to Earth, do don't 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 just don't 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 go to Mars either. So here we go. We'll uh, we'll dock. Can I get control back? Thank you very much. It is the uh, the the autopilot which will prevent you from that. So shift A for those of you who don't don't know. I believe. Let's see if the disco works. Yeah, it works. Um, if you do shift one, two, three, four, you'll have disco. I love it. Absolutely love that. It's uh, I believe it's an Easter egg for for one of the e yearly events, which I don't know because I just don't <laughs> I don't really care about any of these uh, yearly events we have around the world. I just, just couldn't be bothered. I'm a very lazy guy. We know that. Okay, let's uh, let's line up correctly this time. We'll uh, we'll do it like a pro. So we'll get it. Uh, here we go. Slow down and just drop. That's how you're supposed to be landing your ship. <laughs> just, uh, you can see it. They're actually giving you directions. Also, if um, there is the station, we'll see if we can get a piloting license level 1. 
you can't have enough of these, especially when you're starting to get your own ships. I think we need like four, maybe 500 to get our first trade ship going. Can I help? Show me your ass. Yeah. Uh, interface unit, usually they all have that security container. That might be interesting. They don't have a seminar for level one. Let's go at the desk over here. Okay, we don't, we know nothing. You, w once we get a few of these, let's, let's get ourselves AUR security. Let's do like something like this. We'll just get one Argus stake. Having these are not that bad to take. Because you, you you will you will need them with some wares, and now we can actually see what's in the crafting station over here. Uh, fine meal. Some of the missions actually require you to do so. Interface unit is required. With oh security oh that is nice with the spacesuit EMP. If you don't want to spend money getting blueprints, uh, and you have your research station, go into hacking. You will need these spacesuit EMPs to make sure you will get multiple um, oh, those things we just repaired, communication points. So you will get a lot of unstable crystals when you're mining. You'll get those bombs. I don't think you can sell them. Actually, you can. They're not uh, yellowed out. Be careful with your these yellow things. They're illegal to have i might just get a few can i help here you go few more of these interface units let's get nine and get 15 of those it, it's a, it's some money but i'm sure we'll get this mission where we'll have to make steak and we'll have at least one of the ingredients let's go to the manager's office we'll uh, pick up our the one that we need to Bring away. Already also at the mining stations. Get on board. Go there. Let's take a look at the mission. Let's make sure that we don't need to bring it to like Earth. Um, we need to fly to a Terran construction vessel. Cool. We can also go into the Terran Xenon war. We might do that quite early on. And just try to see what we can do. We'll probably be brought here to get Sofune, who's to the right over there. Well, let's get back. Take control of the ship. Now, wait for the passenger. She's not here yet. Hopefully, we see we'll be docking shortly. Oh, she's already here. Nice long ladder. Let's undock. And we can autopilot over there. But usually the autopilot's just horrible. Although the um, when you're using the the docking computer, the, the uh, autopilot, he can make some really interesting turns, which you cannot make if you're handling this game with a keyboard and a mouse. Oh, we'll find ourselves something where they're building. Just be careful not to get near the, the the jump gate for Earth. That that's all you need to do. Just don't go there. There is another gate in this system which will bring you to I believe it's Mercury, and Mercury is the place where you can build a solar power, a solar factory. Like it's the best one in the game. Six hundred percent. I believe six hundred and eighty percent on solar power. It's insane there is the gate there is the, the fr okay that's so nice we don't have to look for it then absolutely great mission we'll dock on this uh construction ship because we can let's get close Docking granted. turn off the autopilot just fly into the general direction It also has a medium docking port. Nice. Way to go. And 
There we go. That was an easy land. Oh, it seems like they had the same barber. Way to go. Nice for you. There you go. Easy mission. Let's undock. And we'll fly to this accelerator. It should bring me us to that system. We'll at least have found a new system. <laughs> Which is nice. Did our speed increase? Feels like our speed is actually up. Okay, when close, we'll just um, backspace. So we'll uh, stop moving as fast. And we'll just take it in slowly. Not that there's anything there. There we go. Entering Mercury. Mercury, that's the one. And this is the best system. Let's take a look. Mercury, select that. 680%. There's also uh, half a million in terms of helium. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Was that always there? I don't know. There's also a mission here. Uh, help with repairs. We'll have to do the repair of the data leak. We already did that with one... Uh, with that one uh, data leak we found on that one station. We didn't get a reputation for it. If you find yourself in a mission where you need to could destroy criminal uh, transports and something like that, best mission. It's just wait at that station. It will start spawning criminal vessels like it doesn't know what else to do. Ah, oh, the moon. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so there's the data leak. Don't go too close. Yeah, that is the data leak. We don't need to scan it ourselves. We just want to get off over here. Go spacesuit. It's not that far away. And keep your repair laser on because you can still um, you can still scan it. And that would fail the mission. You can see there's already a health indicator. And we're at plus 11 currently with the Terran Protectorate. Uh, when we get to plus 20, we can actually build... Um, the the larger combat ships or the better combat ships Okay, sometimes this is a bit dodgy But you need to so go immediately on where the data leak actually is And that's behind there. Let's make sure we keep going on that There you go. Repair it. There we go. Easy mission. Uh, easy 33,000. Get back to our ship. We'll use the uh, tap to actually go faster. It will cost us a bit more oxygen. At least we found this system, which is nice. The uh, the jump gates uh, with X4, they usually, you know, jump. They, they, they're not always at the same place. Not always. Often, but not always. Because this jump gate, which we actually gone through, in my other game, was around here. So there's a good indication on where those are, but they aren't always at the same thing let's go back to the wolf and i think we do want to get started with the next uh main mission the important mission offers over here defenders of soul which gives us a very nice amount of money and also 
the possibilities of getting drops from enemy ships and we might even get a Seda. The first one will definitely keep, the others will, will always sell because they sell amazingly. I wasn't even aware we were scanned or we were being scanned. Auto saving because we are of course going to another system. Now, with the Defenders of Sol, their mission actually going wrong is not very likely. There's one thing that I would highly suggest you do before you do this mission. And that is selling of your, if, let's see, ship, ship equipment. Selling of your nav beacons because you will need to have more inventory space. Usually, this used to be 15. I don't know if it's the same. I've seen more inventory space for deployables. So maybe that changed. Um, but we'll, that's why we're flying to the wharf. That we can actually see if things did change. Uh, doesn't look like there's new missions. If you have a, a ship with, a, with your own captain. Uh, you can just tell it to go here, go there. And just check if there are missions. We'll probably get uh, hailed by the defensive station because that jump gate is over here. Now the defensive station is not too difficult to deal with because if, you do, if you're in traveling mode it will most likely not hit you. Uh, if there's a fleet, yeah, you, you're boned. You, you're going to get your ass blown up. Now, I'm still debating, should I just upload the entire stream? Or cut it in pieces. I'm thinking about uploading the entire stream. But we'll, uh, I'll think about that later. Slowly snaking our way there. Maybe we'll get a mission at the Silicon Carbide Mill. And it will just... It will always give you an indication of where stations are. Uh, usually your mines will always be placed near stations, near ships, near... Something important for the AI... So it, it's a good way of exploring while making money. So just you can always just go point, 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 and it's really boring. Usually you'll have your, your scout ship doing that because he's twice as fast as this ship. So, yeah. Should we get a docking mark too? I'm not sure. It's not that much of a hassle. We'll have to check if we have a trading computer. I think we do. I could just check out the loadout of the ship, but I don't want to. Hmm. Let's take a look if there's anything in here. A lot of police. Maybe there's another station over here. I don't think so. Usually you have a good indication of where things are. You can see like this stripe is very unnatural. So there's something over there. The same goes over in this ray. And is there anything over there? Anything down here? No? Up? No, nothing. Okay, so I, I don't think there's other stations in the direct vicinity. We might get some missions, though. The Pioneers, they are also human, so they are... I wouldn't say they're really friends, but, you know, they're acquaintances of the Terran, so they're actually allowed in their sectors. As long as it's not Earth. And you will see that some of the other ships will be sent off. And you will see that when we actually go to the asteroid belt. Maybe there's a mission at the wharf. I don't think so though. We would have seen, we would have seen the, uh, the other ones. There's three stations. We have three stations over here. Nothing on the sides, I think. Uh, no, I don't see it. Hmm. There's a mission here. Priceless art stolen. Yeah. These are different. 
you will need to make this ship drop that cargo and there's a warning with that beware in order to retrieve the items you will likely have to intimidate the person in giving it up to you even if there's no uh, even if there are no ca uh, casualties local authorities do not look favorably on such action so will you get a reputation impact it's 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 a nice amount of money but that's about it uh, we need to attack a mineral miner over here, a coppice, it's a small one, to get a precious ring. Warning. So, whenever you find these warnings, you can choose if it's, uh, if it's enough for you to, to do it. Because it's not too bad the reputation hit at all. But just, just keep in mind, if you go below... Negative tank. Uh, is this one of those things I was talking about? No, it's it's actually um, it's orange, not red. Okay, let us go and ask for docking permission. Let's head over there. I don't see any uh, data leaks either. Uh, let's take a look what we can upgrade to this small vessel. Like like better engines, maybe even weapons or shields. I won't get missiles on this ship. It kind of depends actually. Um, I say that now, but it does depend on whether or not the inventory is uh, different. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. Yeah. We have the Mark 1s. Uh, you can already see, like, the traveling speed will go down, but the boosting speed will go up, and as well, the normal speed will go up. But do we want to do that right now? Uh, let's go to deployables. Oh, nice. Yeah, we can actually have 50. It used to be 14 or 15. Don't need to do that, so we don't have to sell anything. You could still sell the nav beacons, because... Why would you need nav beacons in the first place? We have the satellites. We can buy one more if we want to. We want to get a marine, and we want to get a service crew member. We have no external trading computer. That's a mistake. We don't have a policing license, nor are we going to be scanning for those. I don't think we want to do the, the dangerous mission, the warning missions, in where you have to scan certain cargo. Long range scanner is quite easy to have and good to have. And let's go for a docking mark too, so we don't have to do that ourselves again. And we could change this ship slightly. We still have some money. Let's just get the combat and let's get the combat mark one on that as well. What else can we do? What would be nice? We have we actually have Mark two shields. Oh, we can get level three shielding. Really now? I will get that. Uh, I will do it like this. The level three shields we can actually just boost um, further, and also. We will be getting some combat, and I know my luck. My luck, my luck can be very, very unfortunate. Very, um, how do you say that? I like my main, my main language is not English, so you'll have to forgive me some of my weirdness. And with the service crew member, he will start repairing ship, uh, your ship when you take damage in your dock. And the marine, if we come across a ship we can claim, an abandoned ship, we uh, just got ourselves a free ship. Because we have a marine. So, an entire ship for the price of 5,000 credits. Just get a new marine. You're ready. And... I don't know if my, uh, my game is still running, because everything is lagged out. My recording software as well. That's just uh, interesting. Never had that before. Okay. Uh, let's get to my recording. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Interesting.
that's new. This usually does happen with this game. Let me know if the game is uh, actually completely lagged out for me. Let us unlock. We'll see when it gets back. You know, it's probably not big, that big of a deal. Oh, I love having the new, um, the new shields though. Okay, now do we have anything else? They're all both medium. And I don't want that. There we go. So, did I lag out? I don't know. I have to check that. That's yeah, probably fine. I don't see anything in the bitrate going wrong, so that's nice. We will go and do the Defenders of Soul because I just don't like doing these two missions. I figured you two would jump at this opportunity. Uh, do not no, I don't want to go away. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Larry Monte, dude. Hello. Oh, that's fantastic. How are you doing? Stream seems fun. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, man. I'm so jealous at you. Just playing Distant Worlds Universe 2. Actually, it's not Universe, then. It's Distant Worlds. Also, I'm, I'm actually watching your uh, Slukan storyline. I'm enjoying that so much. I really am. How are you doing, my man? Let's go over there. Let's go towards the vessel. And we'll be brought in towards the... This gate will lead, I believe, to Getsofune. There's another one over here will get you into, I believe, like Saturn. Something like that. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So, looking serious, it uh, was awesome. Enjoy playing now. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying watching it, actually. It's been, it's been really fun. Absolutely fun to watch. Let's go over there. So we'll get the jump gate. Usually if you fly towards this jump gate, you will automatically take the mission. And if you find yourself in this game and you don't want to do the missions I just did, just fly to this gate and it will give you that mission as well. So no worries about that. You can see that my cruising speed is now a bit lower. And that's due to the combat engines instead of the Mark 1s. But uh, we will be a bit faster in combat situations, which is always a good thing. Combat is important in this one. So, Larry, is there any indication on when, when it's actually happening? Any indication you're allowed to say? I'm not going to put you into a, a tough position here because I don't want to. Um, because I just can't wait. I just installed Distant Worlds Universe again, and I was I was actually playing it, and I was like, "How did this go again?" <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Sorry, mate. Oh, can't wait. I can't wait. I'm very excited about this. Just the announcement of Distant Worlds Two was just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, uh, sorry for the... Uh, the, the um, uh, you, oh, you can't wait to share. Oh, yes, I bet. 
it must be amazing. Just 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 playing the game is fantastic. Must be amazing. How is your other channel going? How is your outside videos? So the profitable opportunities is over here, which is a Taladi vessel. The Stonk Sentinel. It's quite powerful, I believe. It we can't really see it right now, but it's um is it no, it's a construction ship. Interesting. Well, anyways, guys, welcome to the asteroid belt. Now, they boosted up the silicon levels to more than like a billion, I believe. I, I think this is uh, 1,352 uh, million or thousand. Just, just let me know how that goes, because usually this is 1,000, so this would be 352,000. 1,300,000. Okay, that's how I read that. I'm such a goof. Not a lot of Brazilian. A working boss. Ah, oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. You said you, you enjoyed the outside videos more. So, yeah, I was definitely curious. Definitely curious how that was going. But you're rather channel just cycling. Okay, let's take a look. There's actually this katana has... He's either boosting because his shields were dropping. So they actually boost into their traveling speed. Quite nice. Quite good to have. Bought a new camera and everything. No change to... Oh, that is... That's sad, man. That is sad. One of those Go GoPros or, or uh, something extremely fancy. Let's see. Is there a mission available here? That one's good. We don't have too much money, which is a bit of a sad thing. Resource pro Oh, the resource probes right now, they're so damn good. Because you can actually see the lines. You can't see that with this one. Which is uh, a bit of a strange thing for me. But when you stop dropping your own, you will see a range. And that is new. And you can actually map out an entire sector. There was a bug, and I don't know if it's fixed right now. In which you some of your probes would start like dropping down or climbing and I actually spend a lot of time uh, trying to retrieve one of my probes this is a very easy um, deploying 10 laser towers unfortunately we do not have the money to do this so I can't do it and you can see immediately how how extremely filled this uh, system is one of my dogs is actually doing something right now <laughs> let's go out of traveling mode and we need to find the okinawa i think it's this one the silverback there you go that's the ship you need to go to so that is nice so larry have you ever played any of the x games Okay, let's go over here. So this is the whole Solborn militia business that's been all over the news. Some say it's because of increased Xenon activity. Others that it's some sort of uh, publicity stunt. Or even a political power play against the intervention corps. Uh, well, I'm not one to complain. Not this time anyway. <laughs> Whatever gets us in High Command's good books, eh? Militia, squadrons, and foreign auxiliaries. To those of you who were not lucky enough to be born on Terran soil, let me hereby welcome you formally into the ranks of the first and last defenders of the Gate Network. And to those who are Sol-born, or even Earth-born, to resist the temptation of heroism and to put the defense of our sanctuary first is a sign of providence and true courage. By coming here, you have already made Earth proud. Captain, the ball is in your court. Please hold. We'll be scanning your inventory. Much obliged. This is Captain Nowak Lee of the Military Supply Transport Silverback. 
Another welcome from me and my crew, and glad to see the militia is keeping its promises. All squadrons, prepare for liftoff. Great. Because we're inside the hull of the ship, we are actually able to go with it. We don't have to do anything. No, I haven't played any of those. Looking interesting. Looking at the time. <clears throat> it, it's, it's a fun game. It's uh, You can build stations. You can build fleets. Um, it's not as diverse as Distant Worlds Universe, but there is little in, in, in the world that is as diverse. Falling Frontiers looks good, though. I haven't looked into that. What kind of game is it? Is it, like, space-oriented? Is it... What can you do? Also, after this gate, there is combat. Uh, luckily, not too much. Space art, yes. Oh, that's good. I'll have to look into that. Falling Frontiers. Frontier. There's no S. I can just keep making up letters to actually get into that. <laughs> Okay, let's go to first person because of the combat. There we go. Save, save and failed due to the mission. There we go. Uh, we don't want to boost over there because we would be using our shields. Uh, we'll go here and we'll pick up every drop. Okay, we're going to be in range shortly. Okay, he's pointing us to something over here. Okay, next. Is over here. Hold on O if you can. And we have new shields. And they are quite powerful. Just aim into the right direction and go. We still have our wingmate. Okay, so he's still too far away. As you can see, it's a cross. But when that changes... And he is already shooting at me. Yeah, there we go. Once the crosshair changes, you can start shooting it. Keep pressing an O. You will get some illegal wares. You might have to drop your illegal wares. That's it. Well, and, and as long as you drop your illegal wares, there's nothing wrong. There is nothing going on. They don't actually care about that. Don't you dare shoot at me, mate. Ooh, I got hit there. Ooh, there's a blast range. Yeah, that is new. That is new to the, um, to the game. They use... Actually, when you're getting close to to a blast, you will have damage. And so, don't don't hug stations, don't hug capital ships, and think you can get away with it. Okay, keep holding O. Get all of those supplies in there. You are a wreckage. Yes, you are. So we can't do anything with you. Let's slow down. Let's go map. Keep holding that O. We are currently in Getso Fune. And there is still a SpaceX, seven of them. And there's a bunch over here. As you can see, we'll get all of them. Get all of them. Just don't, don't let them just lie around over there. Don't care about that transport. There's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to, tr to have combat. Just make sure you get everything, because you might be getting everything you need to get yourself a Seda. Which is also something you would be able to sell for 1.9 million. And would be four, maybe five ships. So the start of your complete enterprise, if you want to. This is your captain speaking. On behalf of the crew of the Silverback, I would like to thank you for your continued support during these turbulent episodes. Okay. Uh, where is there more? Do we have more loot somewhere? There is something over here. Let's set guidance over there. 
like I said, <clears throat> if you go to your personal inventory, you go to backpack, you will see that apparently we do not hold any illegal items. Which is interesting. Usually space eggs are very illegal. And we got about 200,000 in our inventory. Turning software, security containers, interface unit we actually bought. But we got a bunch more as you can see over here. And the AGI processor. Uh, just keep them. If they're not illegal, keep them. Come here. Where is it? It is slowly snaking towards us. Okay, stop moving. Usually. Oh, it's in orbit. <laughs> okay, let's um, go back to our mission and we'll fly to the military outpost. Is that a ship? Is any of these ships... Ooh, my map is weird. Interesting. There we go. Is there any ship in here that is abandoned? No, they're not greyed out. If they were... I would try taking them immediately. And there is the um, patrol carrier, the, the Tokyo, it's plus F3. Oh yeah, I love that design. I really do enjoy that design. I wonder if this station is going to be destroyed like this time. Whoa, now, look at that Give me back control because there was Xenon. And there is drops. Just get all of the drops you can. I'll have to fly to the armored lockboxes. And there we go. We've got 103 items for a SEDA, which is the programmable field array. That's so nice. Okay. See if you can spot them with your long range scan. I just did. I just did, dude. I just did. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to be putting my middle laser on the second one. You can change those with your uh, numerals. So just one is all, two is one weapon. Because here we go again. Here we go again against the logbox. And we want to be careful not to destroy it. I will pick up all of the lockboxes because I'm I'm a greedy guy. I'm a really greedy guy. And you can see there's only one hitting point on it, which is dead center. It's an... Uh-oh. There you go. Uh, we got a uh, scent filter. Nice. We should move on to the deployment zone. Let's go to the next one. Oh, that one's spinning out of control as well. Just take your sweet time. Don't be greedy like me. Don't be a daily. There you go. This one gives me mines, apparently. I have zero out of five deployed, of course, because I didn't do any of those yet. Oh, this one's slow moving. That's always a bit better. I go to our drops. First aid kit. We can sell that later for about 10,000. If we craft it at the crafting bench. Okay. Some regular stuff. Nothing too fancy so far. Which is a bit of a shame. 
And I believe we have a criminal. Over there. So, free reputation. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go over here. Let's take a look. Did we actually get the mines? Yeah, we got six friend or foe mines. Sometimes you don't get enough, <laughs> which is... Oof. It's sad. It's sad. It really is sad. Programmable field array. There we go. We now have 455. Selling all of this will get you your very first ship. If you choose to do so. You don't have to. You can upgrade the ship you're flying in right now to give you a bit more um, survivability. But you will get a, another ship. You will actually get this one. Yes. That one you will get. So you're going to be choosing if you want to do that. Reputation with the Terran Protectorate. Plus one. We are at 12. Uh, we can actually boost into this sector. Just make sure you watch the map if you actually are in the ring. And yes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how our fellow defenders have handled their part of the assignment. Oh boy. Disengage. There's a lot of mines here. Just circle around the station for a few minutes and tell them that everything's clear. Encrypted connection established. What's up, Nelly? What is up indeed, cadet? There appears to be a nav beacon suspiciously close to our outpost. A nav beacon with no apparent owner and purpose. Investigate, but keep quiet about it. Okay, let's go. Don't shoot it yet. Who on earth is Yaki? Hmm, never heard of that guy. Strange. I could have sworn there was some sort of signal at first. I'm afraid we will have to postpone your secret mission. Our scanners have picked up an approaching Xenon vessel. Saddle up and join the defensive. Okay, so we're going to be attacked. Now, we are at a base. And this base is currently building an admin center over here. I don't think it will actually hold, but... Hey, if it does, then it does, which is good. And we'll be uh, attacking these, because we have some good survivability. And there's a lot of ships present, and mines. Which usually doesn't uh, end well for their health. Let's make sure that we don't shoot our own guy. And you can see the station is starting to shoot. No, you can't take it out. All squadrons, prepare to launch. We have an incoming Xenon strike force. Engage when ready. Mission command signing off. Okay. Now, this mission is not difficult at all. There's a buttload of mines. There's this, this turret. Which has... It has weapons. As you can see over here. So, that is quite nice. You don't actually don't have to do anything if you don't want to. But then again, we all like combat. Not doing combat just feels dumb. <laughs> Let's see, where are these guys? They're still far away. They're not really... There is so much traffic in here. They're just not getting close. As you can see over here, the Tokyo is over here. And it's just launching this, uh, these fighters at it. It's just, there's so much going on in this territory. Resupply ship. Yeah, and there's a carrier to Tokyo. Let's go over there. Oh, wait a minute. Is there any drops? 
There is a drop. There definitely is a drop. So just fly into the general direction. Usually that is also where the drop is. Like I said, there will be plenty of combat in this game. Let's do shift spacebar so we can actually select the container. It is in a kilometer turning software. Average price, one credit. That is not as fancy. And it is due to a cooling mod. So you can modulate your ships. And some of these designs, they are quite useful to actually have. What is up here? Margin. That's just drugs. What is here? Turning software. And there's a bunch of stuff here. We'll uh, fly into that direction. As you can see, all of the attackers have been taken out. Or close to. Let's go. Quickly, slow down that ship without injuring its crew. We cannot have another diplomatic meltdown this soon. And get me the chief secretary on the line pronto. Uh, you heard the commander. I'll follow your lead. Oh, this isn't gonna be pretty. Well, we'll uh, just have to take out the engines. Um, there is a turret. But if you are, like, in the, <laughs> on the side of it, you are not going to be hit. Hey, Wes, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm just having some fun because I got way too many videos already. just have to take out the engines get the hell out of here we'll pick up the loot like later We will be... Oh, there we go. We got 25 out of 25 space caviar. Um, basically, that's a million. That is a million already. Uh, hopefully, we don't get scanned. <laughs> because that would just be a bummer. So, um, Wes, how are you doing, man? How is uh, the wife? You are, you are married right now, right? Uh, AGI processor, security slicer, two out of three. 
more mods. Oh. Programmable field array over here. Set guidance. We are going to upgrade our ship. Because what is after this mission is um, a hot, hot mess. And we can always strip the ship, sell the ship. It will give you more money in the future. Or we can just use it. And the ship by itself is, is not a bad ship at all. Maybe we can try taking that ship over. I don't think we can do that with one, uh, with, with one marine. Wait, wasn't here? Ah, okay, it's destroyed. There's the nav beacon. Here it, yeah, it was destroyed. And um, the drops will disappear after a certain amount of time, which is a bit sad. Let's go um, just just get our ass over to that one station. Because I like getting to new sectors. And we are actually are going into, I believe, the Saturn region? Question mark? Uh, the Getso Fune is not as good a silicon system as it used to be. Asteroid Belt is... Way better. Four and a half million silicon. 1.5 million in ore. Ice is still 6.5 million. But so if you are going to do food and all, this is a better system to be in. But there is a gate into Xenon territory. So there's going to be a lot of combat. So maybe not build a station there. And use larger ships. Okay, everyone, listen up. We've got reports of increased xenon activity in Savage Spur 2. As everyone is aware, this is the primary xenon entry point into the region, and it's our duty to handle this situation. Our mission is to initiate a precision strike in order to divert their attention from our movement and get to Foon. Stay sharp. I love how that ship just gets out of that. Oh, here's a, one of these uh, KHKs. Oh, that's so damn annoying. Oh, we're going to be destroy destroying that. It might bite me in the ass because of it. There's, there's probably a lot of police interference. Okay, where do you think you're going? This is a... Um, I think it's a medium ship. So it might be... Um, Bit worrying, but we'll see. Slowly snake our way over there. You, really didn't want to do that. you might be destroyed before we actually get there, but we'll do our best. As you can see, the shields are dropping. Our wingmate is also firing. Okay, let's get closer. That one is done. Did he drop anything? I don't think so, no. Let's see, is that police present? Yeah, maybe. We'll probably be scanned on the other side of the gate. Uh, what do we do? Do we want to drop it or do we actually just make sure we bail out and get our asses out of that? Ah, oh, I don't know. One million though. One million is very, very nice to have, and it will definitely um, get us started in in an enterprise. Malware unknown origin. It's not timed. We'll get a one-star seminar. We need to destroy mines. All right. If you think you can handle it. Mission interrupted. New mission activated. So we need to destroy the mines around this one. It's pretty nearby. So we might as well go there. So this ship got itself trapped in a minefield. 
How unlucky are you? Space eggs actually are criminal. Okay, we'll have to be careful about that. Protectorate. Don't see any police presence. We'll probably get the mines on Raider shortly. Oh yeah. There they are. Oh, this could go into a cascade effect. Just blowing up everything. Okay, just slowly head over. There's a lot of mines. Every blue dot here is a mine. I'll just shoot it, see if something blows up. Slowly snake our way over there. Okay, as you can see there, cascade effect. You fly in this, you die. They will target you. But they're not friend or foes. They're just... We will just blow up mines. And final one. <clears throat> and this flex is now all secure. Actually, no, this apparently... Yes, there is. There you go. Unknown Origins has been completed. We can now go and go with the optional mission to upgrade. Let's activate you. Go autopilot and we'll find ourselves that new sector. With even more money. There's the gate. Let's move over there. And as long as we don't get scanned, we're good. We'll craft those space eggs, we'll sell them, upgrade the ship. That's pretty much what we will do. We'll have to take a look. Do we see any police nearby? No. That's fine. There was a um, weird graphical thing going on there. Just uh, use tap to get through this. As you can see, the shields do last a lot longer. Entering Jupiter. Okay, we go there. That is, I believe also the faction representative is at this station. Where we are heading now. Okay, so this is in Jupiter. Jupiter is a, an amazing system. Um, let's see, one, two, okay, one, two, three, four. No, the next system is the best. Because if you have a level five manager that is where you want to build your stations and there's actually loot wait a minute there is loot why is there loot okay there is a fighter squadron there is a bunch of stuff Theft is not very friendly folk Okay, we're actually going to head over there. I'm going to pick up that stuff. Might be a mistake, but... Is that a wreckage? Actual wreckage? Yes, it is. That's a bit of a shame. There's also a... That's a damn shame. I wish he was abandoned. Let's hold the um, tractor beam button, which is O, if you didn't get it first time I told it. 
And we'll fly over there. I believe one kilometer is how much this small ship can tractor. Come on, select the next one. I know I'm, I'm just turning around. All these are coming as well. Looks like not too much illegal. Okay, we got it. Now there's some more over there. There you go. There's also another ship. The security container. Average price, 18 point... Wow. How much? It's not bad. Here we go. And let's just go because this is a wreckage and we can't do anything with it. If it was an abandoned ship, we have that marine. We have that marine. We can just claim the ship. We have a ship for free. We can upgrade it. We can make it do things. Uh, there's a bit of a map bug going on. Just, just ask. Go back. And it works again. So we'll dock over there hopefully still. We won't get scanned. There's a fuel con fuel container over there. Oh well. Can't have it all. Can't have it all. My uh, my velvet guy is still over there though. Is he in traveling mode? What are you doing? Are you hurt? Your hull is actually damaged. Interesting. Let's go and dock. I'll boost myself in there, just in case there is police over here. And here we are. Uh, get up. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. I believe we need to be over there. Let's head over this region. Oh yeah, it looks fancy. Hey, you're using my crafting bench, dude. Go away. It looks like we could sell a programmable field array because we have two out of one. And go away. SpaceX, a gift. Over a million. Craft those items. I will sell the other two as well because they are illegal wares. And I just don't want to be caught with my pens down. If we buy needles, we can also craft a first aid kit. And I believe we can actually just buy them over here. Upgrade ships. No, this is the wrong area. Ship upgrade arose over there. The one thing that I was looking for is, I believe, over there. So let's head over here into the elevator and move over to the trader's corner. Get ourselves a needle as well. Can I help? Show me your wares. There's a needle. One. Uh, we have lodestone. You can easily get lodestone if there is a heavily mined area. You'll see them. Rare spices. Uh, we know we need those. Sedatives. Now, all we also need is... What is the other one that we need? And not in here. We have a sand filter and all. You know, we'll uh, get rid of that. Crystals as well. Usually these things you can just sell the trade wares. They're not too important for you. And we'll sell the space caviar for 1.1 million. We have the seminar. We'll just get a few of these because you can never go wrong with them. We can upgrade our spacesuit if we want to. Of course we don't. We don't care about that. We'll sell the other two. And there is, yeah, nothing I would be interested. Let's buy 10. So we're 
going to be having 1.4 million. Now there was one other item I could sell. I could sell one of the two programmable field arrays. Giving me 1.6 million. I'd say that's uh, <laughs> that's very good. I like it. Okay, let's um, craft that. The fine. Okay, we need mixed fruits, and you will need these fine meals for some of the missions. So if you can just get these items like this, it would be quite useful to do so. Let's craft this. Confirm. Anything else we can make? No, we need a flux capacitor and a damaged singularity engine. You will just get them while doing combat. And most likely, after the next mission, you will have more than plenty of those. So, what do we do? Um, let's get into our ship. We could upgrade this completely. Get ourselves a Pulse Laser Mark II, do more damage. Uh, in the end, you will be most likely just spending all of your money for a million. And you're going to, you're not losing this ship, but it's, it's not going to be with you for too long. So just get those five nav beacons anyways. I know I sold them. One million. Yeah, you know, this ship could could be nice. It could be nice. We have a service crew who we can promote to captain. And we can let it scout. Do I want to spend this kind of money? I'm not going to go into missiles. Especially the AI. Don't let the AI control missiles. They they would just start shooting them like absolutely crazy. I could also promote him to a captain already. But. Kind of don't need that. That's why this says the crew is two out of three. Usually it does count the pilot. But considering it is, is uh, it's our ship. It's not doing that. You know what? Add that to the shopping list. Let's confirm that order. We'll uh, upgrade the ship completely. It's going to be absolutely strong. We still have 600,000 in spare. I'm sure we are close to buying a low loadout medium ship. And that's what we need. We, we need that. Okay, let's get something to drink. Okay, 20 seconds. I wonder, I wonder how much more damage we'll do, how much easier the next part of the mission is. <sighs> okay, now it's not a problem until we exit a certain gate. So, this one's done. It's on dock. Okay, so they overheat less fast. That's nice. Is there another? Why is he flying over there? He didn't heal up, I think. No, look at that hull. He is still damaged. Let's go autopilot. And we're heading towards the outpost. Who should have finished 
the admin center. So by now it is Terran Protectorate, it will be contested. I believe the Antigon will definitely start claiming this system as well. And the Xenon will always be a problem. Let's go over here, let's go buy ships, let's take a look into Baldrick. Okay, so that's 600 low, 1 million. Okay, so we need about 400,000. Uh, that's not too difficult to actually do. Why a Baldrick first? is you can actually make good amount of money with trade orders and repeat orders but we'll have to explore the system a bit more there is a micro that is factory over there solar power medical supply we will need yeah protein paste buy offer and they will buy it quite quite nicely over 31 percent so if we find a few protein factories we are going to be able to um, get a good amount of money started now there is a mission here let's take a look medical aid oh that one brings in a lot of money find lockbox where is that you got to be kidding me it's going oh yeah it's over there we need to look f oh it's going to be we can't do this one i don't think so well maybe we can we'll see we don't need to destroy it right away we'll set this main mission to active Three hundred thousand is most likely what we're going to be uh lacking So many fighters over here. And look. Actually no. There are illegals and on board. The AGI processor. Which unfortunately we will need for a mission. We'll do this mission. And we have the other one. In our inventory. There is no counter. As long as the lockbox is there, we, we can't go wrong. So we'll go to the outpost. Which... Was there combat here? I don't see any crates. The Tokyo is still patrolling this area. Maybe they changed it. Maybe they made it less brutal. Because this mission was absolutely disgusting. Intervention core is indispensable. Both as long arm of the protectorate and wing savior alike. However, this eternal meat grinder of clashing fleets cannot be a permanent solution. To truly beat the Xenon in a war of attrition, it is paramount that we instead thwart their infrastructure wherever possible. Those parasites are lurking at the edges of our sectors. Avoiding our defenses and ciphering off our resources. I am putting you on scouting duty. Report any sightings of Xenon infrastructure units directly to me. Yeah, she does have a very good point. Which gives me an idea. See, the Xenon might appear as an unstoppable and unknowable force at first glance, but the way they wage war isn't so different from us. Like us, they rely on their scouts to gauge their enemy's strength, send an appropriate force to deal with them. But, unlike us, they're simple-minded machines. It's all action-reaction. So, you Thanks for your help. Okay, auto saving, which is absolutely good. Uh, we are currently having a plus one reputation due to that criminal that we just destroyed. So we're at 14 now, meaning we need another six to get access to all of the uh, blueprints and designs once we do the promotion uh, into the Terran Protectorate, which we eventually will. Still close enough to the Xenon infested outpost to 
outskirts of the sector. A satellite might serve as bait and help us spot incoming scouts at a distance. Okay, so currently the game has something that's called avoid collision. <laughs> That's why we just got out of travel mode. It's staring away from the asteroid and just go. It used to be absolutely just smashing into asteroids. But I think they need to fine tune this. Because it's even avoiding the smallest and smallest of asteroids as well. One of my dogs is watching me like, I need to go outside. I'm like, yeah, you need to wait. You need to wait for a tiny bit, mate. Okay, let's take a look. We need to drop down a satellite in here. Wait until you are actually stopped. Otherwise, your satellite will travel the same distance, the same speed you are. Which you are unable to do. Okay, there it is. He will not go... You will not be able to hit it. Yeah, that's how fast they go. It's a scout ship. They go about 6,000 meters per second. He's turning currently. That's why he's got dropping down to 611. Sorry about my dog. It's going absolutely insane in the bench right now. It's open. Don't worry. So he's coming back now. He's turning around. And and here we go. Speed is increasing. Six, seven, thousand, two thousand, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand meters. Nine thousand meters per second. Dan is insanely fast. <laughs> I really hope it's still reported as a threat. Oh, here they come. Not a second too soon. Let's hurry past them before their stupid machine brains have time to react. Oh, these fools don't even realize they're pointing us right at our target. Okay, we'll um fly past it. We need to avoid them. We'll try our best. Otherwise, we now have better shields, better engines, better weapons. I am actually quite confident we should be able to do it. If, and I say if, if you get missiles, this mission is such an easy one to do. But it could go very, very rough still. Because they might backtrack. They, they've they already know. The AI knows you're here. Right? Okay, they have... Oh, they've changed their lasers. Just stay at the bottom. They don't have anything over there. Just try to stay away from that damn laser on top of them. They used to have, I believe, like, rail guns or so. Okay, that's one. Hold down O. Get all the stuff you want from it. You see, he has different weapons. He didn't have the laser. Which now is not... It's it's good thing we actually got better shields. Let's um, cool our weapons. Okay, do we get the stuff they dropped? Cool the weapons, he will be back. Let's get that. Let's fly over here. Find the source of the strange signal we'll do once we get the program. Oh, that's nice. Pro programmable field array, which always just 
messes me up completely. Now, this is where you will most likely lose your wingman. And where you also need to be on the lookout for a potential new ship. But it's probably right after this mission is going to be important. You'll have to look behind this gate. Turn off the autopilot, keep in traveling mode. What kind of ships are there? There is a bunch of ships going on. Are they Xenon? No, they're not. They're destroyers, the Okinawa. And there is loot. I wonder what they will do. There's definitely Xenon coming in. And there's a lot of battleships here, which is great. They use... they. This is the first time I actually see a bit of a fleet going on around here. Let's just take the loot. Everything is coming towards us now. We will have to enter into the next system. <laughs> this is quite powerful. The, these won't matter at all. They are unable to do anything. What kind of... What's this? Okay, that's just, just some drugs. We don't care about that. What's this? A Xenon wreckage. Okay, now I would really suggest you go into travel mode. And keep going. Go to where it is safe. Because this could be... This could be very bad. There's loot over here. There is a Xenon M destroyer. There is actually a battle group. Terran battle group is here. Interesting. He is right behind him. Okay, my uh, my wingman's gone, and there is actually the Terran battle group over here, which is cool. Remote detonator, extended fuel. Okay, that annoying noise is usually the sign you want to get your ass back. All squads, return to base immediately. The entire sector is descending on us. So, retreat to the outpost. Once you exit this gate, uh, if the battle group is still there, I uh, will drop out of travel mode and we'll try to get the other ship, but we'll send it somewhere safe. Uh, if it's already there, I don't know for sure. But I'm not dropping travel mode, and I do want to save the game. Looks like... Battle group is over there, getting back. There's a lot of loot, and there is your velvet. Okay, go. Just, just, just... Go to that ship. Hopefully, they don't care about us. If they do, let this go. And currently, traveling as fast as they are. I don't think they are going to care about us. If they do, we're quite boned. Okay, let's get in as close as possible. And then we'll save. Once we take the ship, we'll save. Getting closer.
Okay, shift spacebar, claim. You will see a marine going there. There is a Xenon K destroyer. Let's just make sure there's the boarding pod. Entering, he's breaching right now. Keep an eye on if they are heading into the right direction. And if you take all of this, you'll most likely have your Seda. Okay, pause the game for now. Press M. Tell your Velvet Thunder to head over here. Dock and wait. Your Marine is now a captain. He will go there. You can go into this. Docking, waiting, holding position. That's good. I don't want him to go anywhere. He has no shields. He has a full complement of hull. <laughs> well, not really full, but he is doing his best. And this ship is heading into the right direction. I will get there. We don't need to hurry. Just wait for a second here. What are you doing, mate? He's almost not moving. He might be destroyed. That would be bad if he gets destroyed. Don't fly through the gate, please. Be a good AI. Be a good AI for me, please. He's flying as fast as po possible, I hope. And he isn't. Go. Whatever you do, go. There you go. That's He's safe. He is safe. There's nothing going on. You. Two meters per second. That is nothing. Can we get some loot in here? I think we're too far away. Can go in a bit more closer. I, I don't want to get into 10 kilometers of that Xenon. And I need to remember I need to save the mission. Uh, let's go into... Twitch. Overwrite that one. There are obsolete versions. There's, there's nothing I will play with them anymore. Do I want to get all of this stuff? Am I that greedy? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very greedy, actually. Very greedy guy. We know that station where we are going to will have way more loot. So maybe we should go there. It's still quite dangerous not going there. So let's go autopilot and go there. Get the hell out of here. Surveyor is over there. It's going to be an absolute mess. Unless the entire battle group is over there. If the battle group is over there, there is little issues. Currently, it looks... Like the hull of the Starborn Militia Outpost is at 98. I wonder how, how much of an issue this is going to be. Like this was absolutely a nightmare emission. And you would just basically just get into the vicinity of large ships. And just hug it. <laughs> hug those ships. Because there's so many. So many ships. This might also trigger the Class K Destroyer. I believe there's also a possibility for you getting an Ask an Asgard during this mission. But it would most likely ruin your chances with the... Disengaged. With the Terrans. Okay, what's going on over here? There is definitely... Ooh, a wreckage over there. And the, we got the Tokyo over to our left. And we got some construction ships going on. We'll just get towards the station, drop out, and start going. Now we have better shields than I usually have. Better weapons than I usually have. Because I actually, this time, upgraded my ship. Well, usually this mission ends in get the hell out of here. And that usually becomes when that K destroyer is there. Hey, criminal. Why not? Why not? It's like, 
You're in combat. Your oh, stop whining. You have your other problems. Oh, never mind. There's a bit of lag going on. The, uh, the game is very sensitive to that. Especially because there is a lot of action going on. Actually, the mission is not as difficult as I remember. Yeah. I don't need to dock. Go away. We're, f we're shooting. We're shooting here. Okay, where's that K-Destroyer? I'm sure... Yeah, I jumped in. It's somewhere. Now, we have the Velvet. So, all we need to do now is not die. Yeah, I'm not sure if my weapons actually do as much currently. This is a medium ship. So it's definitely a bit stronger. No, this usually you just fight those smallers. How many will they send? I wonder if we can do this, we'll get a shit ton of loot out of this. Just keep flying. Just don't, don't go, don't be a sitting duck. Ah, yeah, this is definitely, it's changed quite a bit. There's that medium ship. We can actually, it's the back, so just slowing down is not that much an issue. Some smallers. Oh man, there's absolutely a lot of fighting going on. Some of them are actually hitting me. Don't like that. And we need to hold out for two minutes to um, be done with this mission. Now I'm pressing T over here to get the next target. It usually is like shift T, so you want to change that. I think we got the bulk of the fight actually. Okay, stop. Slow down. Let's take a look at the map. What's going on currently? Go here. He's waiting on Mars. That's good. Yeah, there's actually not that much going on anymore. There is definitely loot. So might as well be um, trying to loot a bit. We're waiting here anyways. We're dragging in stuff, so that's good. Turning software, more turning software. This was the way easier. This actually was way easier. Usually this absolutely is a nightmare. Because I haven't seen the K Destroyer yet. They might have changed this mission. Apparently I lost reputation. I think it's due to a mine. There's another raider. It's being attacked. Good for them. Yeah, having the Tokyo over here is a huge advantage. Except for you, recruit. 
I'm adding you to the admission list to Maya headquarters. We have a few things to talk about. Okay, so we got almost 200,000 from that. I'm actually tempted to go back to that uh, gate. That's also coming near us. Docking. There is another programmable field array. We are lacking one more. And there's your K-Destroyer. There is that K snaking our way over. Uh, I want to be... I want to see if we can actually do it. There's a... Oh, yeah, there's destroyers here. Oh, there's a lot of mine still. If he's heading over here... And there's the ma uh, the mapping bug again. Okay, where is he? He's over here. He's being escorted by the surveyor. Great, good for him. Having an escort. Way to go, dude. Okay, who are you? Terran security vessel. He might try to shoot you. Don't shoot back. He's not that powerful. Okay, where are you? He is still going this way. If I had a Seda, I would say just wait here. But we don't have that. So we might as well just go over here. Where's the gate? Uh, it should be around there. And then we'll fly back. If there's nothing over there, if all of the loot is gone, we'll go and uh, see what we're doing. I'll, I'll do it. This is a bit... I want to see if he reacts to me. He's already being attacked. Oh, we're definitely going to be helping. That's for sure. Now, here on the main, you can see the jump gate over there. We can actually select it. So, we don't have to go out of travel mode. But, so far, I'm actually not seeing too many Xenon. He is damaged. Okay. That's always interesting. Some crystal over there, sparkling. Okay, there's definitely activity. You can see that by those flashing lights into that gate. So they are actually still coming in. Or there is actually combat. That's also possible. There is loot. There is Terran battleships. Never mind, we'll go there. We'll go there, we'll get the loot. Okay, let's uh, deselect movement over here. Where is that? That's over there. Go. We'll get everything. Maybe... Now, the Xenon won't abandon ships. They're computers. But that's a bit sad. If they were Aragon, that would be different. Just holding the O, slowly going over there, and we'll go back for that um, K-Destroyer. I'll try to see if we can actually do some damage and die, <laughs> most likely. Now, we have a fully upgraded ship currently, and we have ourselves the uh, the Red Velvet or the Blue Velvet, or which is a very good ship. It has four weapon slots. Okay, what else is here? Let's to look around. There is some loot. Remote detonators. Yeah, this mission is definitely a lot easier than it uh, it used to be. There are way more battleships near. Small ship coming in. If he attacks me, that's fine. We can manage... Okay, what do we have? Okay, the battle group is currently out, and we got ourselves 
two halogenetics, whatever. Let's head over there. And I want to see what's going on. Currently, the hull is completely at 100%. And I think the battle group is responding to that destroyer. So heading with them is not bad at all. Gate connections was good to have. Okay, um, turn that off again. This Okinawa is just as fast as we are. Actually, he's faster than us. That's interesting. Then we're very, very slow. Okay, where's that K destroyer? He was heading into that direction. I don't see it yet. Don't see it on the radar either. There is something going on there. That, look at that. There's a lot of loot again. Friend of foe mine, containers. So combat, there we go. There's the K-Destroyer. The battle group has entered the combat as well. There's the Tokyo. Wait a minute. Are we passing? Yeah, we're passing a shit ton of loot here. The K destroyer is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's quite sturdy. Are these friend or foe? Yes, they are. Fuel, energy, interface, missiles, basic stamina piloting. That's uh, interesting loot. Never had that before. It's flying in, that's good. Slowly keep steering towards the next patch. Okay, that's moving. The high energy is not moving yet. And loot is exploding. What a sad thing. To see loot exploding. High energy extended fuel containers. What would be good to have? Slow down a bit more so it actually can come towards me. Yeah, the K is almost gone. Look at that. 3%. Good for them. Good for them. Okay, the loot's gone. And so is the K. Look at that blast wave. And it will damage. It will damage ships. Uh, one thing that we need to look out for if there is police. Half a million AGI processor. The rest is okay. So only these two are illegal wares. Is there any reason for us to go here? What is that? No, that's just a nav beacon. Security bypass. Programmable field array. Fly towards container. Let's go there. And here is the wreckage. Oh, that's a lot of loot. Well, not enough to actually get that SATA going. Let us go over to the Terran Protectorate. Oh yeah, I knew this was going to happen. The first eight one is in Salvage Spur. Um, no. 
I don't care about it. Let's set this to active. Let's go autopilot. Let's get the asses out of this. And we can slowly start building up our second ship. And do some more missions. Huh, that sounds good. That sounds good to me. The uh, AGI processor you will need for the the research mission. And I think you get the mission right now to actually go do that. But you will most likely need another ship. I don't know if it's right now that you need it or afterwards. But eventually you'll need to get yourself like a medium ship so you can keep doing the missions. Um, as usual, I will look into what kind of other missions there are available for us. Just interesting design. I love how they just play around with their design. They just build up a few modules and just build from over that. We're, we're all way too static with our construction. It's always straight ahead and it's a shame. Current reputation is plus 16 with four. And I noticed we had more illegal wares. Security bypass. Uh, one more space egg to get a million? Wow, really, just one. We might even be able to get that here in the asteroid belt. Because where there is mining going on, there is uh, going to be space eggs and a lodestone, as well as, of course, the ores that they take. What is your job, actually? Ah, sure, it's probably just policing or patrolling. Entering Mars. A lot of ships here. Defensive station. Good looking defensive station. I like the look of it. Okay, any more missions? So far we haven't found any of them. And here is the velvet. Uh, upgrade and repair. You got yourselves Mark II combat engines. That is good. You don't have shields. We have money. We can do that. You currently have missile launchers. No, you don't. No, he doesn't have any weapons. Docking computer mark one, short range scanners. Got some flares. Got one pilot. And some damage. How expensive would it be? How expensive would it be to go like high preset? Just don't do that. He equipped lasers i think okay that's quite expensive let's put that back let's put you back don't go all around that is actually not a bad idea let's just get pulse lasers one million that is not bad at all get the damage there so 1.1 million to get this ship that is not bad at all that is not bad at all let's go here let's dock let's get the the mission done we might just get a good amount of money from this one we might just do missions Upgrade that one ship so we have better survivabilities and just do a few missions. Get ourselves uh, a miner. Oh, don't you do that. Okay. Let's talk. Let's, uh, let's go to the, uh, the mission agent. Successfully 
Let's see. Uh, do we want to? Can we have? Do we have trade wares with us? Okay, doesn't look like it. No. Let us get up. We'll have a look. We can run over there and just take the elevator. We'll take the uh, elevator or tra transporter or whatever it's called. Let's go to Trader's Corner. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we are, we're lacking the flux capacitor. That's all to get a SATA. Uh, we can sell four programmable field array just to get that money to help us. Interference is not a problem. AGI Neuric Core. They did scan us, I believe. They And they were okay with it. It's not too expensive either. So if we lose it, it's not a huge deal. I kind of want to find ourselves another SpaceX so we can get that million. Unstable Crystals is not too difficult to find. You just have to find a highly mined area. There over there. And a lodestone to get ourselves, if we buy two of them, we can get two space suit EMPs. Let's see if they have it. Can I help? Here you go. Of course they don't. Can we buy a space egg? No, we can't. Uh, do we have... Sell that? We don't, we don't need it. Spices. Do they have spices here? They have steak? No, they don't. Rare spices. Oh, we have enough of them. What's the other one that we need? Don't remember. Okay, we'll confirm this. Goodbye. Let's go to the mission agent after the autosave. And I actually need a quick break. So I'll be, um, be right back for a second. Okay. Uh, is this the right one? No, it isn't. We'll take that one. Okay, so uh, we were going to the mission agent. And she will talk a lot. A lot. And we'll, then we'll go find that the additional space egg. And uh, we'll upgrade the Velvet. It's going to be our own ship. This ship we currently are flying, we might just send off to explore for when we actually get that trader. So are we set, ready, able, and get over there. Just get really close in your face. Yeah. 
There we go. Recruit. It's good to see you're still in one piece. Apologies for the harsh welcome earlier. Communications cut off as soon as you engage those xenon infrastructure units. And I cannot stand having no vision on my subordinates. Well, I, I'm ready to report, ma'am. There's no need for a detailed report, Recruit. My staff have already extracted your ship logs the moment you arrived. It is beyond dispute that what you have witnessed is of the utmost concern to the Protectorate. But that is only half of the reason why I called you here personally. You have displayed unquestionable obedience and clarity of mind in the most stressful of situations and distinguished yourself as a defender of Saul in even the darkest hours of our operation. I, I hereby aim, raise you to the rank of special operative. And no, refusal is not an option. But I might deign to answer some of your questions, if you have any. No classified subjects, though. Okay, so I've got a bunch of options here. Uh, and, and you can see by the dot that this will bring you into like your next storyline and this is all going to be like information so what happened to my wingmate what happened to the soul militia really and what's the situation with the anticon and this is referring to the, um, the the miner or the trading ship flying into that minefield so we'll go over them and then we'll go into where do we go from here my analysts are not entirely sure about the exact order of events for that, we would have to interrogate Shinneman himself, and he remains MIA. Judging by your report, it seems he may have been abducted. But I have a suspicion that there's more to it than that. I really should have read the signs beforehand. After all, predicting the movements of ally and enemy alike is core to my job here. For some reason, Shinneman must have tried desperately to make a name for himself, to be inquisitive, and proactive in every situation. He also seems to have eerie intuition regarding the Xenon. I can only guess that something in his childhood, surrounded by stories about the glorious Terran War against the Machine Scourge, must have sparked his imagination. Trying to understand that which cannot be understood might have been his downfall. Okay. You can ask the same question again, you will get the same uh, response. A cutting edge operation to strengthen societal cohesion, or if you believe intervention, just another failed experiment. When I originally pitched the idea, I was mostly concerned with creating a common cause for the disenfranchised of Saul. Though drawing in foreign attention seekers turned out to be a welcome side effect. After all, why would you care? Stand up and fight for our beautiful system if you felt like a second-class citizen, or worse, an alien. I suppose there are a few parallels to the Pioneer's Initiative. Another campaign that defied expectations in its own way. Call it a hunch, but I'm sure you'll be able to see that for yourself very soon. Okay, and gone. That was an unfortunate confrontation, to say the least. We came close to a debacle but I was ultimately able to smooth things over with the Secretary of the Antigone Republic. When interacting with the rest of the Gate Network, we will always attempt to show ourselves from our best angle. But make no mistake, Earth will not allow herself to be abused or threatened ever again. Okay, here we go. Where do we go from here? I must say that I am hesitant to send you away again so soon, but since you're asking, there might indeed be something to help take your mind off these unfortunate events. That is, if you think you're ready. Um, <clears throat> we can select a mission and you do whatever we want. We don't have to go on with this mission, but I will take it right now. Otherwise, we'll have to go back to her and talk to her and... It's annoying. I see. No time to waste, right? Now, I would like to talk to you about the so-called Project Benefit. That's the codename of a top-secret operation that the Sagaric pioneers are cooking up. We certainly know more about it than they would like, but we remain in the dark when it comes to their ultimate goal. 
We do know that it involves a facility in their space with an unknown purpose. Fortunately for us, there seemed to have been an incident, and the station was evacuated until repairs could be carried out. This is a short-lived opportunity to gather intel. As such, we've taken action to inject false security documents into a pioneer database. Congratulations, operative. You're now a qualified pioneer engineer first class. You are set to join one of their engineering teams to repair that facility. During the operation, gather whatever information you can, but use your discretion. Just follow along with their instructions and you'll be fine. The team is gathering in Neptune. Okay. This brings you into the Bosa Ta mission. It's not a difficult mission, and actually having an AGI processor is mandatory for this one. Um, otherwise, you'll have to go and, and take that. Uh, first things first, we're going back to our ship. There are, of course, missions here, which we can easily take. We got some money. I want to get another... Space egg. Uh, we might just drop a satellite over here to see what's going on. But you can see the hull is at 93%. If it goes any further, then there is an attack. And if there is an attack, there is loot. And I'm way too curious for my own good. So let's head over here. We don't need a pilot just yet. We already have a service crew member. Let us undock. And let's put on autopilot for now. And we'll take a look at what the hull is doing. He might not have repair drones. And he was... We believe the scientist in charge of Project Genesis is also heading up the repair team. Be sure to stay on his good side. Thank you. Uh, we're not going there. Autopilot, again. If it drops down combat... If it doesn't have repair drones, it won't drop down either. Uh, we're going to be take, uh, picking up this satellite. And drop it somewhere else, I guess. Now, there was a mission here, right? Okay, the mission is gone. Some of them are timed. Uh, flying over there. Like I said, if we get harassed by the police, then that would be... Very unfortunate, but that's about it. Very high factory there. Not the best location. We do want to explore the system, and we might just want to do long-range scans uh, ourselves first, because there might be data sites in here that we can unlock. Savage Spur is not contested, but look. 2.3, that is good silicon ore. They have... Uh, that's, that's a good system, damn. Wow. Uh, methane, hydrogen, helium. There's no ice, though. They can get that. If Maybe we want to be the ones claiming this system at some point. It's getting a good defensive position over there. Claim the system. Take it away from the xenon. It would not be bad, either. Uh, we're traveling quite fast are we being chased we're being chased that's for sure there is a miner okay let's disengage here let's head over to a mining ship that's gas so that won't work we are currently yeah, they, they usually, they, um, they mine the system like crazy. And I can't really blame them. Maybe near to this factory. Autopilot. Let's continue with the autopilot and we'll just drop every now and then. If we see something like loot, then we can slow down. If we see miners going... And we can dock at any station and, and just use the crafting bench to... I want to get rid of these SpaceX. If I didn't sell the two, I would have had a million already, but... 
Yeah, mistakes were made. There is ice. There is the Tokyo. Don't see other drops yet. Resupply ship. This uh, ship is traveling sideways. Now we're doing the same. There we go. Okay, we're in the other system. Zoom out. There's a logbox over here, which we could try to take. 93, so it's not being attacked. Fighters, I don't see miners yet. Okay, it's not being attacked. It's actually being constructed. Huh. Nice. I like that. Okay, so we're not going to be getting the SpaceX. Sidon's over there. Let's take a look what's in that logbox. We'll take that and then we'll continue slowly to war where the mission objective is. We don't need to upgrade the ship right away. Uh, it will be a while until we actually get our own ships back. And we're going to be meeting a lot of other alien factions during our time over there. Yeah, I thought so. It's going to be below, isn't it? Yeah. Well, at least space ain't two-dimensional. Twenty-three. Fifteen. And slow down. So, how difficult is this one going to be? I don't see it. It looks like it is quite dead set in in there, so that's that's easy. Oh damn, it's one of these, huh? Okay, it's slowly moving. At least a lot less fast than what we had previously to work with. Careful of that dot you're using. Okay, those are done. I think there's one more over in that end. So we just uh, take our time. Okay, there isn't. Let's go to the other side. Could be what we need for the Seda. <sighs> yeah, nice. Way to go. That's how you do it. We'll head over to Jupiter. We'll need to get to the other gate. There's no mission there. Let's go. That's, mm, that is really annoying. It's very unfortunate as well. Every time I'm very near to them, and it, it just barely, barely missed. I'm still not sure if it actually missed, but it blew up, so there's no point in debating it. Let's see, no space X. Come on, man, you just need one. One space egg. You're a Baldrick, so traitor, so you won't have that. Fighter squadron, as long as you know police, that's fine. Anything near? The 
Doesn't look like it. There is police. He will probably go chase us. A bolo gas miner. So we won't have any use for that. Because they usually have two normal turrets on that. And he's just gathering gases. Get in towards Jupiter. Entering Jupiter. And we'll go and get control over our ship. Let's take a look around. Let's go to long range. Shoot at once. Oh, there's something over there. That's a lockbox. It has to be a lockbox. Let's go there. Let's see uh, if this one we can actually do. And there is a question mark near the station as well. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Boost over there. There is a ship. There is a mission as well. Don't see anything on the map yet. It, it is a, a lockbox. It has to be a lockbox. I will have to do this one right. Yeah, there it is. It's a lockbox for sure. Is it one of those round ones again? Yeah, it is. Is it completely... Okay, it's also turning. Don't bump it. Uh. Okay, one more to go. We'll go to the other side. Eventually, I will do these. <laughs> Apparently, the AI is way better at this. I, so, I've been told. Unfortunately, I have never had the AI successfully open the lockbox, which we just did. Uh, okay, remote detonator, spacesuit, bombs, two out of three materials, and a bunch of illegal stuff. Great. Great. What do you have for a mission? There is the Xenon Military Studies will give you a management first star book. An inactive minefield has been added as Xenon Technology Military Science eager to research the Xenon. Interesting. We'll do it. We'll autopilot over there, but we know we don't want to get too close because we are most likely going to be destroying mines near the ship. Let's get all of our weapons back. Let's get close and then we'll find our way. Did we actually find the... No, we didn't. Okay, interesting. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> it's uh, it's it's half past ten a.m. for me, mate. It's been great seeing you, man. I'm I'm happy to see you. I'm I'm looking very much forward to continuing your series. So uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Okay, stop. There you go. There's the destroying mine stuff. It's a John, which is um. It's a ship that has a lot of turret points on it. So we'll see. Maybe the, if we shoot the wrong one, we might even destroy it. But look at the amount of, of mines here. Did the range increase? It used to be like 2.8. No, okay, that didn't change.
This one's armed. Too far away. We need to destroy 30 of them. It's a good amount. Slowly snake our way forward. Focus on the ship first. Don't shoot that. Okay, he might be um, pissed because he the shields were gone. Not by us, but by that mine. It's not like we can do anything about that still, but hey. There we go. Now give me my money. This is the one I was talking about, right? It does have, yeah, it does have six turret points at the top. It's, uh, it's, it's an okay ship. I wouldn't say good ship. It's an okay ship. Okay, let's uh, level out. And let's go with that long range scanner again. We are currently looking all the way over there. Okay, that's not working. Unknown station over there. Just keep doing it like this. There's a station. Set guidance over there. Autopilot. Let's take a look. If I remember correctly, it should be around this area. Maintenance duty is the Pioneer's mission. Terran versus Xenon. We'll get there. We definitely are. Uh, once we get like 1.2 million, we can actually upgrade the ship without doing anything else. But I would like to prefer getting the SpaceX done before we go towards the um, base. And I'm sure we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be scanned by police so badly. There is a mineral miner. Actually, a mission on this station. Quick fixes, very easy mission. Except that. All the way over to the defensive station, isn't that just great? If we lose it, we lose it. It's just, it's not that much money, like I said. And I'm just being way too greedy for my own good. Uh, we'll scan into this direction. The gate is somewhere around here. Actually, the gate is here, in this end, because it jumps over here, and then there's two small systems. We'll go to the left, then go downwards, and I think that is where the mission actually is. Some katanas. I like the katana quite a bit. It's it's a bit slow. It doesn't have a docking port, I believe, but it does have a good amount of engines. So it immediately gets us to the right direction. Turn that off. I don't see any illegal advertisement yet. Nope. I think it's on the other side of the station. No, it's not. It's over there. It's probably right in between. Yep, yeah, it is. It is in between. 
So let's get over here. Stop the ship. Undock. Spacesuit. Need to get the hang of spacesuit flight anyways. Don't let them get away. Yeah, too bad. I'm busy. Oh yeah, there's the bump. Famous bump. And there is the uh, the disturbance. Okay. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, just use the mouse. It is a bit annoying. Oof. Just get a good angle on this. Yeah, just keep it keep going on this. It will trigger there. I don't think you can actually repair it from this aside. I don't want to get too close until I get a good angle on this. There you go. And now we can go in. And there we go. Oh, that's way more hassle than it's worth. Oh, it's so, so true. Absolutely a lot of hassle. Let's go back. Uh, honestly, I don't like the space to travel. I'm not looking forward to a particular mission with a certain combination to do. It's so annoying. Okay, mission has been done. Now, where was I saying that gate was? Could be over there. No. We'll do the long range scanner. That should be highlighting it. Set guidance over there, it's autopilot. We'll find it. Let's see, if we find, see a um, ring, we found it. Protein processing facility. Oh, that is what we need, guys. The protein processing facility is where we can start earning money. Ooh, this is definitely, it might change everything we're doing right now. Because we can have that sell to medical facility. Uh, over here, I believe. Protein processing as well. Solar power plant. Okay, let's go over here. Trade off first. Protein paste is extremely cheap. 55 Buying medical over here, and it will buy in at 135. Ooh, we will definitely start setting this up. Computer substrate. We can also sell medical supplies. We definitely want to the scout. There's police, that's not good. If he comes after us, I might have to drop my stuff. Autopilot Unknown object. Auto that is the one. Set guidance. We'll go there. Maybe we're lucky. Probably we aren't. So far, he's not moving. And he's actually moving downwards. I would say we're lucky then. 
Oh, there's another car. There's another copper. There is another police one. So many police officers. Just, just scan the pioneers one, mate. I, I'm a friendly lad. There we go. We are. We've made it into Saturn. We have the auto save going. One. We can immediately see, like, the gates going into the next system. Uh, there must be another gate here. See, there's the highway. Station over there. Not a lot of information on Saturn, as you can see. It's a sunlight 1%, even though we're in the midst of a cloud. Okay, that sucks. I think we want to go towards the station. We'll do the majority of the exploration, like, later. Come on. Station and object. Yeah, okay, so there is another object extremely near to this. There is also a repair mission. Not sure I want to do the repair mission. Oh, the satellite, huh? Oh, well. So this will bring you into a cluster over there. That mineral miner is heading over there. There is a bolo or a baldric. There is another station. There is another station. There's several stations around then. And I think that's the ring. To the left. It's difficult to see. It's very, very dark in here. And this is where the faction representative is. Yeah, nice. That's good to know. And there's an ad. See how red it is? Definitely an ad. It's... Try not to destroy the station. There is, of course, a gate. Over there. Could also be just a other means. Okay, let's see. Post combat maintenance. So it's repairing hull. Okay, so we have. Did they add another system in here? It, it's possible. I don't think so, though. So we have an unknown gate over here. There is an actual jump gate. Yeah, there's a new system in this. There used to be two in Saturn. Interesting. At least I find it interesting. Come on. Okay, that bump might help. Just to slow me down. Okay, can we get out of this? Okay, it looks like it, yes. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're, we're kind of stuck. Wait for shields. Very stuck. Uh, are we free? Doesn't feel like it. We're inside of the interior of the station and we are out. Okay, well, let, ooh, let's not do that. Let's not go in between over there. 
Oh, we're not free. Look how much we're not free yet. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Let's see, how bad is it? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, they found illegal wares. I'm sure of it. We've detected contraband. Yeah. We've detected contraband. Drop the cargo. Oh. Yeah, sucks. It's gone. Thanks for cooperating. But uh, still, there's the lockbox. So if it's not gone yet, I think. Oh man, we're inside of this damn contraption. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Wow, really? Yeah, the container has been destroyed. Damn. Oh well. You're free to go. Thank you, officer. Come on, just let me out. The, f the sad thing is it's, it's it's not picking up anything, right? We're not getting any speed. You can see there is something over here. Definitely some rings. Just let me go, otherwise I have to save and load. Well, it might not be such a bad idea, actually. I've been at it for way too long now. Luckily, it's my daytime, so I'm usually more tired than this. No, keep going. I want to go over here. No, keep going. Okay, time to save. And get to Fune. We'll recall this to stream. Uh, stream 4.1. Overwrite. We'll get ourselves free. And then I'm going to be calling it. It's uh, three hours is a long time for me. Shouldn't be too long anyway. The loading is um, unless we break free right now. Yeah, we're not. Okay, load the game. 4.10, 4.1, 1 or 10 doesn't really matter all that much. I wonder. I do. It's a human nature to stretch, to go, to see, to understand. Exploration is not a choice, really. It's an imperative. Imperative? I don't read as fast. Yeah. Oh, it would suck if I was still 
so, uh, still stuck in that station. Let me get it close to my mic here. Um, yeah, would not be good if I was still stuck. I don't think they would do that to you, right? Oh, they, they would do that to you, actually. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, they did it. I'm stuck still. Great! Isn't that lovely? I have to find a weak point. <sighs> okay, guys, so I'll, uh, I'll end the stream over here and I will uh, mess around with this uh, myself until I'm free. So, for those of you who are here, thank you. I appreciate it, as always. And uh, those of you watching on YouTube later, join me on Twitch if you want to see this. Uh, I don't have a schedule because I work very irregular hours. But uh, if I am there, we're free. I don't know how we're free. At least I managed to get that done this episode, so that's nice. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue the, uh, the mission next time. I'm um, going to just... Saving and not playing until I stream again. Hey, yeah. So, thank you all. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Didn't want to do that. I, damn, I didn't even know I had that on. Um, game. Display. Yay, now it's gone. Okay, bye-bye, guys.